when when you got hurt the first time when you were a Cleveland Brown, where where did you think your career was going at that point in time, Dion? Um, I wasn't sure, you know, because it was my third year, and I haven't really played much up until that point. So I was just trying to didn't really know uh, what was going to happen. I just uh, tried to stay as focused as possible, and I just kept working. And and now again, we all know that you suffered a knee injury, and you've come back from that from New England. You were drafted by the Eagles in two thousand and seventeen and two thousand eleven in the fifth round. What was it like being in the organization back then when you got drafted by the team that you're going to try and prevent from winning the Super Bowl in nine days? It was, it was great, you know, just to um, get used to being in the NFL. My first two years, you know, in Philadelphia, they were great years for me. Um, I didn't have the type of production I wanted to on the football field, but, you know, as a learning standpoint, and as growing up into a young adult, you know, it gave me great experiences and um, was things that helped me till this day. Who put their arm around you and tried to guide you during that process, Deion Lewis? Um, I would say LaShawn McCoy and Ronnie Brown. Um, they were there in my rookie year. Um, Ronnie Brown was there as well. And those are two guys I looked up to, and they kind of helped me um, figure out the league. And Sproles is not there yet, right? Uh, no, he wasn't there. He was. He came after I got traded. Would you, Would you say it's fair to say you 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 model your game after his in a way? Uh, I wouldn't say that. You know, he's definitely a, he's a great player. But I think we're different players uh, as far as uh, ability wise. You know, he's a great player. Definitely looked at the way he catches the back the ball out of the backfield. I definitely studied tape on that because you know he's one of the better guys that do that ever in the league in my opinion. So just try to uh, learn from uh, from that aspect. So who was your guy growing up? That you say, okay, I want to get to the NFL one day because I I, I love this guy, or 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 he was the guy that I I modeled my game after. Who was that guy? Uh, growing up, I was a big fan of Ladainian Thompson and Barry Sanders. You know, um, those are two of the greatest backs of all time, and just try to learn as much as possible. Always watching YouTube clips of them when I was younger, just trying to be a better player. So uh, I definitely uh, looked up to those two guys. Okay, have you met LT? You ever cross paths with him? Um, I haven't met LT yet. I haven't met him yet. Oh, I can take care of that. I actually did an inter- I did an interview with him uh, last year in the playoffs, I believe. Okay. After one of the games with him and Deion, so but I haven't met him in person. Deion Sanders. Oh, so you got the call. You got the call yeah. from Prime. I got a call a couple of times, a couple of times. Okay. Now, when you get the call yeah. from Prime, you got to take that call. I know that. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, you got to take that call. That's that's one of the calls you can't decline. <laughs> right so. now, now you weren't named Dion because of that and you don't spell it the same way but I'm I'm just wondering is that possible uh I don't know but it sounds good though it sounds like a good <laughs> a good, a good, a good, a good name to have you know, okay a good player and I, obviously I ended up playing football so okay we got that all right for more Rich Eisen show tune to audience channel 239 on direct tv or download the Rich Eisen show app